When most people think about wealth, they think about the Jeff Bezos or the Elon Musks of the world, but in comparison to other historical figures they aren't that rich. In today's video, we look at the top 5 wealthiest individuals in history. 5. Joseph Stalin Stalin lived from 1878 to 1953, and he was the dictator of the Soviet Union. Stalin is an uncommon figure in modern economic history, a dictator with absolute power who also controlled one of the largest economies in the world. While it is virtually impossible to separate Stalin's wealth from the wealth of the Soviet Union, his unique combination of economic might and complete control of the USSR lead multiple economists to nominate him as one of the richest people of all time. You can easily see their logic. Data from the OECD shows that in 1950, three years before Stalin's death, the USSR made up roughly 9.5% of global economic output. As of 2014, that level of production would be equivalent to nearly $7.5 trillion. While that money didn't belong directly to Stalin, he had the ability to leverage Soviet economic might for any reason he chose. He had enormous power, and through his power, he could have anything he wanted, says George O. Lieber, a professor of history at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. He controlled one-sixth of the land surface of the planet without any checks or balances. Does that make Stalin rich in the traditional sense? Lieber isn't so sure. Was he among the wealthiest men, the professor wonders? I suppose if you want to stretch the definition of wealth, but it was not his wealth. He controlled the wealth of the country. Even so, it's hard not to include Stalin on a list of the most economically powerful people in history. His wealth might be uncertain, but there's no question the premier's personal economic influence is unrivaled in recent history. 4. Akbar I. Akbar I lived from 1542 to 1605. The greatest emperor of India's Mughal dynasty, Akbar controlled an empire that accounted for about one-fourth of global economic output. Fortune's Chris Matthews cites the late economic historian Angus Madison, who speculates India's GDP per capita under Akbar was comparable to Elizabethan England, but with a ruling class whose extravagant lifestyle surpassed that of the European society. That assertion that India's elite class was wealthier than their counterparts to the West is backed up by data from economist Branko Milanovic, whose research shows the Mughal dynasty was one of the most effective empires of all time at extracting wealth from the population. 3. Emperor Shenzong Shenzong was the ruler of China and lived from 1048 to 1085. China's Song dynasty was one of the most economically powerful empires of all time. According to Professor Ronald A. Edwards, a Chinese economic historian of the Song dynasty at Tamkong University, the nation accounted for between 25% and 30% of the world's economic output during its peak. The empire's wealth came from both its technological innovations and extreme skill at tax collection, which Edwards says was hundreds of years ahead of European governments. The professor also noted the Song dynasty's government was highly centralized, meaning the emperor held enormous control over the economy. 2. Augustus Caesar Caesar was the ruler of Rome and lived from 63 BC to 14 AD. Not only was Augustus Caesar in charge of an empire that accounted for 25% to 30% of the world's economic output, but according to Stanford history professor Ian Morris, Augustus at one point held personal wealth equivalent to one-fifth of his empire's economy. That fortune would be the equivalent of about $4.6 trillion in 2014. For a while, Morris adds, Augustus personally owned all of Egypt. That's hard to top. 1. Mansa Musa Mansa Musa, the king of Timbuktu, is often referred to as the wealthiest person in history. According to Ferrum College history professor Richard Smith, Musa's West African kingdom was likely the largest producer of gold in the world at a time which gold was in especially high demand. Just how rich was Musa? There's really no way to put an accurate number on his wealth. Records are scarce, if non-existent, and contemporary sources describe the king's riches in terms that are impossible for the time. Some tales of his famous pilgrimage to Mecca during which Musa's spending was so lavish that it caused a currency crisis in Egypt mentioned dozens of camels each carrying hundreds of pounds of gold. Smith says one year of Malian gold production probably generated about a ton. Others said Musa's army consisted of 200,000 men, including 40,000 archers troop numbers, even modern superpowers would have a difficult time bringing to the field. But to get caught up in the king's exact wealth is to miss the point. 
As Rudolf Ware, an associate professor of history at the University of Michigan, explains, Musa's riches were so immense that people struggled to describe them. This is the richest guy anyone has ever seen, that's the point, says Ware. They're trying to find words to explain that. There are pictures of him holding a scepter of gold on a throne of gold holding a cup of gold with a golden crown on his head. Imagine as much gold as you think a human being could possess and double it, that's what all the accounts are trying to communicate. When no one can even comprehend your wealth, that means you're pretty darn rich.